Hey everybody and welcome to episode uh, 12, I think, of Let's Build Minecraft. <laughs> got him. Hey you. Uh, I got my render distance turned all the way up right now. Just taking a look at this. Do you notice anything different? Uh, that house right there. First one that we ever did here. All the way over there. Finally has a roof. I did it. I got it done. Wow, you can see a long ways. 32. That's why I'm at. 32 chunks, but we do not need it that far. <laughs> uh, oh, hello. Um, behind here is the jungle, by the way. If you haven't seen what we're next to before. Oh, oh, oh. I hate, hate, hate that new bounce mechanic. Let's go get my levels. As you can see, I'm kind of low on levels. There's a reason for that. I did some enchanting. I went into the nether, collected lots of quartz. Don't have a plan for it, but I did it for the experience. Well, I love this uh, Aqua Affinity Respiration Helmet. It's just awesome. I went there and got lots of levels. I did some enchanting. Let's just turn this down to there just for the sake of... Every now and then I get a little bit of a stutter. Um... Yeah, I did some enchanting. I got... This bow was Infinity Power 4, I think. Now it's Infinity Power 5, Punch 2, Unbreaking 2. I'd like to get that to Unbreaking 3. I'm trying not to use it too much until I get it there. It doesn't one-shot everything. A lot of mobs that have armor obviously aren't going to get one-shot. Spiders get one-shot. I don't think a regular zombie gets one-shot yet. But... Let's see, what else do we get? Let's just jump in here and look. Um, if you watched last episode, you know that I... Uh, we'll just say made some adjustments and now I'm getting some pretty good frame rates. Whether you guys get them in... I'm recording in 60 frames per second. Whether you guys get them in 60 or 30, I guess depends on whether I render and which. I'm not sure. I might start... I've been rendering in 30. I might start rendering in 60. Um, this is... I got Feather Falling 1. I just put in like a level... Uh, top... The top option, level 8 or whatever it is. Uh, power 4, absolutely unneeded now. Sharpness 3, uh, Power 3, Protection 3. And here, again, another useless book kind of i'm just gonna keep doing books i check all these things to see uh if there's anything that i want on those and if not then i do a book and see what's on it and then i combine stuff um apparently i thought that didn't matter what the sword was made out of if you put it in there then it would have the same results so i put the iron sword in there and it said sharpness four i put a diamond sword in there and all i got was sharpness uh three so that was kind of a bummer but it's whatever running a little low on food do i have yes i do i'm just gonna collect this my inventory is full of stuff because i've been busy um if you haven't seen i have a new creative series i'm working on a palace uh we'll leave the the hay Working on a palace with another guy, a big creative project. Um, I just recorded episode two the other day, and it should be up before this one. The plan is... Uh, it... Excuse me, burpees. Sorry. If all goes as planned, then uh, that gets uploaded for me tomorrow, and this probably two days from now. I've been putting these down and trying to get tons of lots and lots of sugar cane because i want bookcases for decorating i want to start getting working on these uh ooh, <clears throat> these interiors so they're not quite so boring right now they're just pretty empty save for two bookcases there <laughs> um what else last episode we started working on this. Uh, you can see what I'm working on now right there, but we'll get 
over to that. Start working on this building over here by this fire pit. Don't know if I'm going to keep it. I might completely redo this. Um, but it might look fine if we work it out. I'm not sure yet. I'm leaning towards replacing that. Um, so yeah, today the plan is this spot right here, which is, if you remember, we've been talking about how um, we want to keep the, the build story driven. So right here, we are storing our hay. Um, do I have any hay up here? No, not yet. And then we need a place to... Let me adjust my mic. Sorry if that was annoying. Um, then we need to do something with the wheat. Something to feed these people. This is getting exported. These are the boats that bring in the hay. Hay gets stored in there. Hay gets... Wheat gets brought over here. And this is the bakery. This is where it gets turned into bread. So I already made the chimney. I've made this building in creative. And I laid out the floor plan for it. So now we can kind of get going on that. Where's our sun at? Looks like it's going to be nighttime soon. But right now I want to do this part on camera. This is kind of an outdoor part that's covered by a roof. So we'll just do that. So there's going to be a fence wall here to kind of just give some depth. You can see into that. Let's go sleep. So how are you guys? I'm enjoying it's Valentine's Day right now. I woke up early, did some house cleaning for the wife. I'm just looking at the sunrise. <laughs> um, oh, I wonder how far we can see out there. Because we've noticed how, uh, if we look that way, land is pretty close. This should be all water. Um, let's look out there. Turn it all the way up. If it's going to let me. There we go. Ooh. Uno frame. Let that render in. I do, I'm not a huge fan of these squid. <laughs> they look like shiny Gyarados. <laughs> like, a little bit too much. Nope. I'm underestimating how far away they are, I guess. I'm not shooting over them, am I? That one did. Why don't I hear the bow? Um, I want sounds. I don't know why I don't hear the bow. Did, uh, <laughs> did they always used to float down like that? Look at that, that's kind of cool. I can't hit these dang things. Oh, once they hit the water, they just drop? Did it used to... Ooh, sorry, I'm still on 32 frames per second. Look at the bubbles. Oh, cool, I don't remember that. Um... Oh yeah, we wanted to see. <laughs> Sidetracked. Uh, mm, that's really close. There should be more. Yeah. So we're definitely going to be extending out this way. Let's get these frame rates back up and these render distances back down. Wow, I'm already 10 minutes into the video. That's crazy. <laughs> About 10 minutes. Can I make it up here? Oh, hey. Yep. Yeah. All right. So right here, we want some dark oak. We're going to need more dark oak. Last episode, we went and got those acacia trees. We want a bit of a quest for that. Uh, no. I uh, started planting them. Let's just bring this up. I'm not sure how high this chimney is going to be, but I think it's going to have to be higher. Um, let's just bring these walls up for now. Um, yeah, let's just bring... There's going to be a doorway there. There's probably going to be a window there. Yeah, that makes sense, right? Uh, I don't want all those, but I'm going to do it anyway. As I say that, I don't want all of them. I make all of them. All right, let's 
be good with that. So I've been talking about this build for quite a while, like, oh, we're going to build a bakery, we're going to build a bakery, pretty much ever since I built that. This, I think, needs to be two. I do have pictures on my phone next to me. I don't have two monitors. I do wish I had two monitors so that I could have pictures up uh, next to it. But I do not. Um, we're going to need birch. Lots of birch. Not that much. Uh, yeah, I overdid it. with. You know what? Let's take advantage of this. What can we hide away? We can hide away this stuff for now. Do I need this? Uh, yeah. Don't think I'm going to need any spruce right now. I think I'm about done with the stone. And then let's make lots of stairs. So are the, you guys should let me know. Uh, leave in the comments. Are there any games that you're Looking forward to, excited for, because Fire Emblem Fates comes out uh, this week. Let me look at my pictures really quick. Okay, but yeah, Fire Emblem Fates. I'm a big Fire Emblem fan. Um, wish I could record for you guys. I really do. Um, but I've been looking at capture cards. I didn't realize that they're hundreds of dollars for these capture cards it's just insane like eh, no thank you um maybe one day uh i'm getting the deluxe version if you don't know there's two versions um got a scratchy on my head eh. there's a there's in the story, there's two sides. I don't know too much about the story because I don't want to know spoilers, so this shouldn't be spoilers for any of you. But there's two families in the story. One you were born into and one you were raised by. And there's, I guess, a war between them and you get to choose sides. And there's two different versions, one for each uh, clan family that you play with uh let me double check if this is right all right it should be um but yeah then there's a deluxe version that lets you have give me these let you uh make the choice not just like it's kind of like different versions of pokemon uh well with a bigger difference i should i shouldn't say that uh there's like one version that lets you pl play with one family and then another version that lets you play with the other family. And then there's also a third DLC that allows you to kind of be independent, I think. Like you're not with either family. Um, I'm looking at this and thinking that maybe this is too plain, but maybe I'll mess with that on my own later. This is going to be a window, I think. Get that out of here. Uh, let's take advantage of these fancy new trapdoor mechanics that we have. But yeah, then there's a deluxe version uh, that lets you make the choice in-game. And it's sold out from pre-order. They canceled pre-order, so I don't think I'm even going to get it the day that's released, which is kind of a bummer because I'm a big fan, and both me and my wife love the games. Um, let's go back. I want to grab some iron and put an anvil there. And I also want some paintings, I think. Um, but yeah, like Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn, which is the Wii release from, I want to say, 2006. I've actually had two copies of that because I wore out the first copy. I think we got a second copy. Yeah, we did buy a second copy because we wore out the first one. Um, and they're expensive. They didn't make many of them, and then the, uh, the game got more popular, and now they're like uh, $80. If you want... Uh, Path of Radiance, which is the prequel. It's like $100. I haven't even played that one. Radiant Dawn, though, I've played. What did I come here for? Yeah, Anvil. Path of Radiance. I need more iron. We'll get onto that. 
on my own time. I think I've beaten that game though. I want to say six times. Which is a lot. I do not replay many games. Like, I play Skyrim over and over. Kind of. I mean, I've only had one character that I've really stuck with. Uh, this is what I want. I've only had, like, one character that I've really stuck with in Skyrim. And that was on Xbox. And now I'm playing on PC, and I, I must have spent uh, 20 hours of in-game testing and probably twice that of or probably like 60 hours of testing with mods before I finally got it stable enough where I can play now without having crashes here and there and everywhere, which really <laughs> was no fun. Um, but now I, I've got a character in my modded Skyrim that I'm enjoying, and uh, didn't even plan this out. Uh, um... Segway, yeah, that's the word. Uh, one of the character that I'm playing with now is actually inspired by, based on, uh, enemy. Uh, nope, I don't want you there. Well, can I? Yeah, I can still do that. Um, I wanted paintings, and I did not get them. That's okay. We'll walk and talk. I kind of feel bad when I'm just walking and talking, like we're not getting anything done. Um, but it's okay. <laughs> I gotta, gotta fill these episodes with something. <laughs> um, so yeah, Aversa, if you're familiar with Fire Emblem. Did I say Awakening or Fates? I meant Awakening. I'm doing an evil character walkthrough right now. I haven't really done anything evil yet. I'm trying to keep it more like story strict. Um, I want a couple. I also want a door. Oh, let's go two doors. I'm trying to keep a strict story, more of a role-playing thing. Whereas before, I just kind of played the game. I, I want to become, or like, work in that she's a bad person, but just I haven't really had the opportunity to yet. I kind of feel bad, to be honest, when I kill people, <laughs> like NPCs, like I feel like I'm missing out, like what if they're part of a quest or they're going to sell me something. So I try to avoid that, but uh, for the sake of this let's play, I guess that's something that's just part of the story. Um, but yeah, it's heavily, I shouldn't say, I don't know what you guys call heavily modded. There's about 150 mods I'm playing with right now. A lot of them are texture related and like small tweaks to the game like uh gameplay tweaks and whatnot a lot of immersive things like bigger trees um i would record and put it up that would also give me a reason to play it more uh an excuse to play it more i should stay let's get this up and there's a couple paintings in particular that i want oh that was one of them oh that's one of them Let's put the other right here. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> Those are cool. These little banners. We could actually work these in. I think there's a blue one. I want to find that. We could work those in. The paintings in this are really good. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, yeah. I would do a series on it, but I'm pretty much... I bumped my mic. I'm sorry. I'm pretty much pushing my game to the limit. Uh, I can't record, and I get so many crash to desktops that, um, yeah, it would just be too frustrating for me to deal with that and record. I don't get that many anymore. I did solve a lot of that. Um, let's make a few chests. Uh, I want two more, actually. Oh, I wish that they would introduce chests based on um, what wood you use. I have a plan right here. I'm going to have ladders. Let's do that. Well, we'll save that. It's going to be ladders going up to the second floor there. Um, so you get a little bit of an idea of what I'm working with. I might replace... Uh, when I built this in my test world, I had these... Oh, granite and diorite and whatever to make it look like stone floor. 
And we could do that and it would kind of look like a dirty floor, like it's dirt over the wood. But if you come down here, you're going to notice that. But we could try to hide that with some of these logs. Put some more logs like right here. You know what? That would be a good idea, I think. Let's grab this and this and let's get up top so we can see exactly where we're going to want these. I want one on this corner. Uh, a lot of these posts here are like they're easy to do but they're they add a lot. Uh, I didn't look at all where I was going to put it. <clears throat> um, yeah uh, so I mentioned earlier how I got my game more or less running let's find the exact middle here um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven thirteen four, seventeen so let's put it hmm let's remove this one wait no 17 is gonna have a middle right yeah odd numbers are gonna have middles that's okay so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is going to be the middle for each, I think. Counting from each way. We'll step back and look. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I got my game running better. Uh, I also allocated, m let's see, memory. I had like one megabyte, now I have five. So it's not making a huge difference, but it is nice I'm only using seven to eight six to eight memory at a time the big difference that this should bring is before i had to kill those chickens over there because i was getting framey whenever i looked over that way uh i should be able to handle that now i think um oh yeah i was gonna look at this yeah that looks about right let's go ahead do i have any fence i do i didn't put it there just go ahead and do that and that I guess I don't really know how I feel about those right there um you know stuff like this I kind of like that I like um another thing that I just remembered about this just something to add some kind of texture to these builds is remove these, get me this, see how that kind of makes that part stick out. Let's get our shovel on so we can break a single piece of dirt. <laughs> uh, See how that kind of gives that? I can't really see from here. I'm trying to make a point, you dang game. Um, I don't want it there either. I want it moved one over. It's not even centered. Anyways, I'll fix that on my own. We've been rambling on long enough. When we come back, this building should be complete. Uh... Where'd he go? Okay, yeah, I was gonna be really cool there and uh, get that squid, but I can't even. Do you like despawn right in front of my, right in front of my freaking face? How rude! <laughs> All right, I'll be right back, hopefully, with a finished product and maybe with that torn down. <laughs> be right back. Halfway finished checkpoint, go! <laughs> um, exactly what I just said. Uh, <laughs> I, I tried to do a little cool transition there, and I hope that I've pulled it off. But, <laughs> who knows. Um, <clears throat> didn't get this completed quite yet. Um, there's quite a bit of detailing left to do, but, uh, I want to get this out to you guys in the morning and it's about 11 here um yeah not done <laughs> uh let's go over what i have though um actually we can turn this off so we can look oh look the squid poke through the 
the uh, uh, the wood. That's not normal. So <clears throat> here's what we have for a layout on the inside. And I do have rooms planned out. So there's going to be like a wall here. I can mark that off. Something like that, actually, there. There's going to be a wall right there, and there might be a wall right here. I don't know. Um, Let's light this up just so nothing ruins our day. Um, We finished this on camera right here. Uh, there's more detailing left to go in here, but... um. I like it. It's going to be closed in, so it's going to, right now, look in there. It's all open up, so you don't quite get the feel for it, but we will. I used a birch roof here, and that's something that we haven't done here before. I might do that to mix up the colors in this town. I also used that for a wall. Um, I don't think I've done that anywhere else. I've used birch for walls, but... Um, in the test world, when I had built this beforehand, I made it out of spruce, but that was the same color as this. So it just looked weird having it the same color as the ground. So I went with that. Um, this is here for a reason, which uh, we'll, you'll see when the second floor becomes finished. Right here you can see kind of what we're working with for the upstairs right here I think I might put a right here there's gonna be another thing kind of like that we don't have a very good angle here let's get a bare angle something happened to my oh well there's a squid in there but there used to be a sheep and a cow and something happened to them they're not in there anymore so yeah you can see it looks good from up here and it'll look a lot better once I clean it up and add detail and do the interior. But anyways, I might get that finished off camera. Camera. <laughs> um, I might get finished off camera or I might... I don't think I'll make another episode on this, so I'll probably get finished off camera. Let's hope that I don't take 12 episodes to finish it like uh, this house right here. Right here. Not, no, not that one. Right there. Anyways, let's get a view of something. Yeah, you know, I like to get a view when we're saying our goodbyes. Let's get a view of the jungle. Crank up this render distance. Yeah. That's actually a jungle's edge, which is pretty rare, I think. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, if you liked it, then show me some love and leave a like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye. What I do, what I do, what I do, what I do.